Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Game Speed Shop. Um, today another video of the SR124 VA Turbo project about brakes, the front brakes. So if you're new to the channel, uh, have a look in the right corner for you, there's my logo, you can click on it. Go to my main page, see all the other videos of this project or have a look on jamespeedshop.com, the link is over here. So, uh, the front brakes. So, I'm going to use a 345mm brake setup from a C32 or a COK500 or C55 AMG. So, the parts are partly sponsored by Auto Parts Online. This is the website. I will put a link below the video. I already buy uh, parts from them from, for years and the quality and uh, the pricing of the product is very good. So um, the calipers are rebuilt calipers. Uh, they sell rebuilt calipers. They are, I don't know where, which company they, it's overhauling them, but the uh, quality is pretty good. Uh, also the disc is a Brembo disc. They also sell those parts and they sell also another version above this that is I think Spark Max that's also a different brake setup so I, I use this setup because it's for, for the street so why these brakes so it's uh, I'm going to tell you how to install this and that is this is not I did not found uh, this solution but it's a very good solution I uh, there's a guy on the end on Facebook that uh, told me how to do it so he knows who he is when he's watching this video thank you very much so I'm also going to share this. So let's start. So if you look to the products, the so last video I did uh, new wheel bearings in the hub. So I'm using uh, front disc 335 millimeters. It's 28 mil. Thank you. Can see it's a Brembo disc. Um, I have the caliper. This one is already changed, but normally you have. Uh, disconnection on it that's normally on there and the problem what you have is this connection is too long and it will hit the arm on the hub where your steering arm is connected to that's the biggest problem so what is the solution I bought two calipers they are both used good condition not leaking they are from a W220 um, 320 model so I think the brakes, I'm not sure, but I have a look. The 320 and the 500 have the same brakes uh, on the 320, the petrol, the diesel, and the V8 versions, 430s, all the same calipers on the front. But the only thing you need is this part, because you can see there's just a difference in the connection. You can see it. This one is shorter, so uh, I already mounted it. So on this type, you cannot use uh, the brake line with a straight connection like it's on this one the original connection because uh, you still have a problem with the angle over here so you need the one with the banyo connection that you see on motorcycles I don't have that hose yet but uh, it will be in the future so first I'm going to do this change so I think you can also do the same thing on W201 and an RM29 I'm for sure you can do that uh, W202 I think is also the same but the uh, RM29 W124 and the 201 I'm for sure you can do this setup so uh, yeah so let's start so what are we going to do we're going to loosen up uh, this we can we're going to remove now and then remove the four M10 bolts out of it this need anymore there are two o-rings in here over there and over there you can see our two holes so I'm going to clean this a little bit push the uh, push it back in and have a look if the seals are good 
Uh, these seals are like it's a dust seal, so it's to get all, all the dirt out of the caliper. So like a brake caliper is a very easy, easy device. It's the only thing what it does is it puts oil pressure in here, puts it behind the two pistons and it feeds the other side through the two holes into this side. So the holes are going through here, over here to the other side into the other side, other system. So it always is mounted with the breather hole to the top so you can let all the air out. It's just a very simple device. This is the caliper from the C32. Same as this one. This is already already done. So I cleaned this one up, looked at the seals, everything is okay. Okay, this one is used as a different color, of course, but it will be on the inside. The outside will still look like an aluminium color. So, um, so now I'm going to remove this cap, or the other, this one, and the other one can go on there. So there are two O-rings in there, and one drops out, it's a very small one. I use the uh, rubbers from the new one because that one will be installed without any use, use with the new O-ring, so I'm going to install them, they're still in there, so don't drop them. Okay, the other one is still in there. So, this can go on, on there. Have a look if it's nice and clean, of course. So now you can see the difference between them. So it's a 10.9 uh, millimeter bolt, so uh, it needs to be tightened to 70.6 newton meters. 10.9, 10 millimeter, 70.6. So we're going to put the, uh, the blocks in the in the caliper. So we've got a set for two, two pins. The rest can go in there. Two blocks, two sets, all the same.
nice. It says, Lord Sharon. So now that I go on the hub, new bearing, the disc. I will clean it afterwards. It's a little bit dirty, but I'll clean it afterwards. So the disc is going on. So normally there is a security bolt in it that will not fit because it normally should be over here and it is it will not line up there is this over here normally so it will not line up but that's the, also the case on, on mine so that will not line up now you can have the caliper mounted on this side uh, two bolts same as on the 124 or the other ones M12 10.9 bolts uh, thread is the same what I did I also cleaned the threads uh, in here and the bolts on top and this is the thing I don't need to forget it to line the caliper up, up as far as possible in the middle you need rings 2.5 mil thick these are 2.5 have a look what is it these are yeah 2.5 it can be 2.5 to 3 mil you have to have a look if you're going to install them I use 2.5 I think 3 mil will also work but you also have to think that uh, the caliper will go way the caliper will go up and then your rim will not fit I have the same thing I will show you that so these rings go on the bolt position already so here we got these, these bolts This is an uh, N12 bolt. It needs to be tightened to 122.6 newton meters. It was. Yes, 122.6. I'm not going to do that now. Put them on, on torque because. It needs to be dismantled to put on the car, otherwise too heavy, but I'm going to show you how it looks. So, calipers on. I hope you can see it, but there is... You can see there's a little bit of a space. On top you cannot really see it because the block. So what is the case? <coughs> it's almost centered. I think it you can use uh, a three mil um, ring in here that's a little bit thicker, but it will go up five mil here. Or uh, it make this small space, uh, this space smaller, of course, and that bigger. But I think I'd use a 2.5. I think it's good. It's good enough. It's uh, centered enough, I think. So I think this is the solution. You can also use, maybe you can find a 2.8 or something, or 2.7. That will be perfect. Uh, also, make sure uh, all the sides are cleaned. So there's no paint or anything in between. So you get it nice and centered. So this is what I mean. Uh, with the connection so you need to have a hose or anything else with the connection that is maybe uh, 90 degrees and then it can go up here or uh, the other way, other side can go up here so 90 degrees angle in it or with a banyo connection that would be perfect so I will put my rim on top then you can see that I need a spacer in between so this is my rim for the project have a look. So 
Oh, it's now free. So, uh, eight and a half inch wide wheel. This is an R230 Ronal Alphard rim. It's an original wheel from Mercedes. Ronal produced this wheel. Um, so, I think it's very nice, very nice rim. I really like it. But you can see, if you now turn it, it will hit the caliper. That's also because I used two and a half mil uh, spacer ring underneath the caliper. Uh, to raise it, or to get it centered in the middle. So that's the thing you also need to do. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a spacer ring in between, like this. This five mil. This is just to show you. Maybe I'm going to get another one. Let's have a look. Because this one is a little bit smaller than the wheel itself, but you can see now it's 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 free. So uh, that would be good enough. Maybe I'm going to use uh, two uh, two or three mil spacer. I have to look because one that's a little bit bigger that gives me a little bit more space between the the rim. But this is how it looks, and I think it looks very nice. This is an 18-inch wheel, uh, nice big brakes, good calipers. And this is not the most expensive upgrade that you have to do for big brakes. And I think this is, yeah, but what's, what's bigger after 335? I think it's 360 mil. I don't know if that's steel, steel brakes and normal uh, calipers. These calipers are very good to get. So I think this is the best option to do. I think. That's my personal opinion. So, this is it. Big brakes on the W124, um, very nice setup. There is a possibility to drive with this brakes on 17 inch because the C32 has 17 inch, I think also the C55 and the CUK500. So it's a possibility. Uh, I really like these wheels, so that's why I'm taking these. It's pretty personal, same as on my V12, I got Sagan wheels. That's also most of the time the only comment I get on the car, oh I don't like your wheels, yeah. Not my problem, I really like them. So, that's the same with this wheel. I really like it. Uh, all part wheels, uh, last year they are getting much more expensive. I think they are also on the 50 year anniversary edition of the SL. Uh, this is an R30, R230 wheel, there's also a Mercedes number in it. I always like to use original wheels. It's black powder coated. I think that it is original. I cannot really find it if it's original or, or not. You have them also in polished aluminium, just the polished look. So, and painted I think, and I think this is also original, I'm not so sure, because I see more of them like this. So I think it will be very nice with my setup. So, 8.5 uh, inch wide, the rear is 9.5 wide, so it's a little bit wider than I have on my V12. So, brake setup, for the last uh, time, this is a uh, 345 disc. C55, C32, COK500, disc, steel disc, 28mm thick, uh, caliper 345, um, C32 caliper of course, and the backside is from a W220, uh, 320 models or 500 or 30. Um, I will put some pictures below the video, so I hope you like it. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more nice videos. Also, have a uh, click on the right corner of my logo to see all the other videos of this project. So, uh, next video, I'm not sure where it will be about or about the suspension or putting the engine in the car for the first time. I'm not sure about that yet. I have to think about that. But, uh, yeah. If there are any questions about the subject, don't hesitate to ask. You can also find more info on my website, gainspeedshop.com. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.